Mosquitoes are under attack this weekend in many parts of the country as they are being linked to the spread of West Nile virus. In Texas, 10 people are dead and there are more than 200 cases reported. The city of Dallas has been declared a disaster area. In other states, new numbers show 37 cases in Louisiana, 33 in Mississippi, and here in Florida, four cases are reported in Dade County. The West Nile virus is dangerous as it leads to encephalitis, the swelling of the brain. While there are no cases of West Nile virus in Sarasota County, mosquito control workers are out looking for mosquito larvae, testing waters to see if they can find the larva and kill it before it matures and ever takes flight as a flying, biting mosquito. Any kind of standing water, ditch, pond, or abandoned tire could be a mosquito breeding area for the pesky bug. Sometimes they find minnows that help. What's in there? That little, that little minnow right there. What does it do? They eat mosquito larvae. That's a gambusia minnow. A mosquito fish. You stock these ponds with those? Sometimes. When larvae are found, the water is treated with a chemical that is less toxic than that used to kill the adult biting mosquito. So far, it's been a busy season. Has it been a busy season for you so far? Yes, it has. It, it has been quite a, a busy season for us. Uh, right now, it's starting to slow down, you know, because we're, stay, we're, we're staying on top. But at the beginning, uh, just after uh, Tropical Storm Debbie, um, it, it, it was quite rough at the beginning. But uh, I believe we've got a uh, real well handle on it. In Texas, aerial mosquito spraying began Friday night to control the mosquito outbreak there. Officials say this is the worst outbreak of West Nile virus in nearly a decade and has spread to more than 43 states. The CDC says to protect yourself, use mosquito repellent that contains DEET. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and try not to go out at dusk or dawn.